everyone, it's Meg and welcome to a, another weekly vlog. It is Monday now, it is the second week of May and I've had actually quite a nice day today. I wasn't sure whether I was definitely going to carry on with the vlog in this month because if you saw my last vlog I've had a few health issues which has kind of not made me want to read and whatnot but I've been to the doctors, I have an inhaler so hopefully I can breathe a little bit better now. Um, so yeah, that's good. So I went to the doctors this morning. It's also Finn's birthday, my horse. So it was really nice to just, you know, see him and it's his birthday. He's 22 and I can just think about Taylor Swift's song 22 every time I think about that. Um, and now it is around half one now and I just got back from town or one of the local towns near me. Like, it's so nice. I met up with my friend and it's just so nice to be able to message someone and be like, hey, do you want to go out for a bit and like go a bit shopping or whatever? It's just so nice to be able to do that again because I've missed my friends so, so much. So we went into town and we went to a piercing shop because I don't know how we can tell, but I got my nose jewellery changed, which I have wanted for ages, but I've been really struggling with keloids and kind of the healing process. But it's finally healed enough now and the keloids are gone, so I have been changed to a nose ring. It's going to be very strange getting used to it. It has bled a little bit, but you know, that's fine. So I'm really glad that I finally got this done because I've wanted it done for ages. And whilst I was there, we had a look in the shops. My friend also got her nose pierced. She ha had the other side because she's already got one side of her nose pierced. I got some bubble tea because there's a new bubble tea place. You can tell how long I've been into town. It's been like over a year since I last went in. And I had a matcha with tapioca boba bubbles. And this is like, I swear to God, this is probably one of the best matches that I've had in a very, very long time. I feel like it varies so much depending on where you go. But I love matcha and it was so nice. So I really enjoyed that. And then, just as I came home, I have received a parcel. And I think I know what this is. I think this is my order from Gaze the Word for Heartstopper Volume 4. And I missed out on the signed copies in Waterstones. I was, I just missed it for some stupid reason. I didn't pre-order one of the signed copies, but please the word advertise signed copies. So I really hope this is a signed copy of Heartstopper. I'm going to be very sad if it isn't. Um, but anyway, it's nice to support a small business as well. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing and I feel like this very much fits in the theme of the vlogs that I'm doing at the moment because obviously to do with mental health and self-care and I think this fourth volume deals with mental health, specifically Charlie's mental health. So I'm very much looking forward to it. I've been avoiding like vlog spoilers because I know so many people have been reading this book and receiving it and loving it. So I'm very much looking forward to it. So we shall open it. Oh my god, it's wrapped in paper. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my god. Look at that. So, it's wrapped in tissue paper. I absolutely love that. And then we've got a poster, a poster, a postcard. Oh, it just says, hi Megan, thank you for your order. Best of wishes. Oh, and then they got a bookmark. I really want to go to Gaze the Word. I actually passed it last time I went to London and stupidly I didn't go in. I don't know why, I just didn't. So next time I go to London, I need to go there. Um, but it's so pretty. Oh, and I've seen the cover and the spine on this. It's beautiful. I really don't want to wreck this now because it's just like stunning. Like we love the effort they have put in here. So let me open it and then we can see what the finished copy looks like. And here we have it. Isn't it stunning? Like, look at those colours. And the spine is yellow. The other spine colours are, like, pink. Like, a bluey colour and green. This, along with the green spine, definitely has to be... Is that upside down? I think it is. Yes, it was upside down. One of my favourites. Just look at that. And then the front cover. And then the back. And the real thing now, we're going to actually see if it is signed. I'm going to be really sad if it isn't. Yes, it is. It is signed. That's so cute. I love it. Like, I can't wait. I'm going to read this in this vlog, I think, because I haven't done that much reading. And I would like to finish my current read um, in this vlog. But I'm definitely going to have to read this because it's just so precious and it's thick again. I think it's about similar amount of pages to the last volume. So, oh. We stand. I'm so excited to read this. 
So that's my little unboxing. I'm so excited. I will definitely be reading this. I feel like it's a bit floppier than the last one. I don't know if that's just me. So obviously I will recap you guys on what I'm currently reading. I'm still reading the same books from my last vlog. And if you haven't checked that out, I will leave it in the description down below. The non-fiction I'm still reading is Brave New Girl by Chloe Brotheridge. I haven't read any more since my last vlog. I am on page 102. I just haven't been reading this much recently. I've just been, I re I am enjoying it like so much, but I also have to be in the right frame of mind to read non-fiction. And I feel like juggling two books at the same time, I'm kind of struggling with a bit. I, it's not my thing, like juggling a load of books. But hopefully I can pick this up and continue with it because I am really enjoying it. And then I'm still reading The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I've read a bit more since my last vlog, even though I actually haven't done the outro for my last vlog yet. Um, but I'm on page 144, so I am halfway through and I am enjoying this. There's nothing spectacular about it, but it's a very interesting story, kind of seeing Nora kind of experience all these lives and kind of how that affects her and kind of her mentality and all that sort of thing. Very interesting and I'm very much enjoying the bit that I'm on at the moment. So I'm hoping I can finish this this week because it's under 300 pages. It is 288, so if I can finish that this week, that would be amazing. And then I'm still listening to the audiobook Four Months to Apart by Jane Austen. Again, I've not listened to any more of that since my last vlog. Um, I don't know how when I will finish it, but I am enjoying the audiobook, like just listening to the audiobook a lot more. Talking to a camera whilst you can't breathe properly is like a challenge, let me just tell you that. So those are the books that I'm reading. That's my mini haul. And we're just gonna see how this week goes. I'm gonna try and take it a bit easier, just trying to get my health back on track. Um, and just see what happens um, because obviously not breathing properly doesn't makes everything a little bit harder um, but I'm feeling not too bad today which is good so I think that's my main task for the week last week was kind of setting boundaries and doing a few other things like finance -y things this week it's mainly concentrating on my physical health and trying to get back on track because obviously these vlogs are all about like self-care as well as reading some wonderful mental health books and all that sort of thing. So yeah, it's been a very productive and really nice day so far. And my tasks for the rest of the day are we cleaned underneath my bed because I feel like the amount of dust that I have everywhere is revolting. So I've sorted that out and it probably helped my chest as well. So I'm going to finish tidying my room, change my bedding. Um, and then I've got a few other bits and pieces to do. I do technically need to start editing my last vlog. I don't think I'm going to film any more sit down videos just for the moment because I don't know if you can tell I get out of breath very easily from talking a lot. Um, so I don't think it's a good idea if I film videos, like sit down videos where I'm talking to you guys for a long period of time just until I've kind of got my like health and my breathing under control a bit better. Uh, so yeah, I don't have anything else super exciting planned for the rest of the week. I'm working, I'm getting my hair cut on Thursday morning and I'm so excited to get my hair cut. Like it's a bad hair day so my hair's just stuffed up in a bun. But I'm so looking forward to getting my hair cut. It's going to be great and it's going to make me feel like a brand new person, especially now that I've finally got my nose done. So yes, this was probably quite a long intro, it's about 10 minutes from what I can see on the camera. So I'm going to go about my day now. Welcome to this vlog, I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more structured compared to my last vlogs because they were a bit of a mess, to say the least. Um, but yeah, there we go. So welcome to this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go on with the rest of my day now and I will catch you guys when I have some form of update. <laughs> Dating you in the dark. 
I wasn't planning to do that, I was planning to do it before, but I just had a bit of a bath as you will have seen before. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a reading update. So I have less than 100 pages left of The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I am on page 197 and I'm not like loving this book. I don't hate it in any way. I just feel like I'm not very like engaged with it and kind of like rooting for our main character and like and just I don't know I'm, it's just not my favorite I think it has a really lovely message and it's a very interesting book and a very interesting concept but yeah I'm just not as like invested in this book and engaged with it so I'm kind of wanting it to be over which is kind of disappointing because I was really looking forward to reading this book I think it's one of the most like the books I wanted, like on my like 21 reads to books to read in 2021 list. I think it was on that list at any rate. Um, but yeah, I'm not like absolutely gelling with it, which is kind of a shame. Um, but I do definitely want to finish this by the end of the week because then I can obviously find out what happens with this book. Um, but yeah, I've been in such a weird reading mood since I finished The Other Bennett Sister last month. Like that was a fantastic book. And I've been searching for another fantastic book since. I haven't finished a book since then, which has been like at least two weeks. And I'm just searching for that next spectacular book. And I have not found it yet. Not in Mansfield Park and not in this book either, which is kind of a shame. So yeah, that's kind of sad. But it is like 20 to 10 now and I don't usually start books too late on in the evening. But I genuinely don't think I can wait any longer to start Heartstopper Volume 4 because I feel like it's going to pick me up. I feel like this is going to be spectacular. I think it's a book I'm going to love and kind of hopefully get me out of this. I'm not exactly in a reading slump, I'm just not reading books that I want to read, which makes me read less, if you see what I mean. Um, so I think I'm going to start this. I'm not going to finish it. I did want to save it so then I could have like a day where I just sit and read it and just enjoy it because it's going to be like another year until the final volume comes out um but yeah so I'm going to start this I'm not going to finish it tonight well my plan is not to finish it tonight at any rate um and see how we go I just I need this back in my life I need these boys and these characters it's just so precious um so yeah I'm going to start this and see how I get on. I won't finish it tonight, like I said. I don't really want to because I want to sleep. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so that's my plan. I feel like I'm not reading the best books at the moment, but hopefully, like, Heartstopper is definitely going to be, like, a very good read. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of, like, lacking in, like, amazing books. Like, I'm not desperately inspired by the majority of the books on my physical TBR at the moment, but... Hopefully I'm going to enjoy them. I'm hoping quite a few of them are going to take me by surprise, but hopefully my second book for like my mental health TBR is going to be a bit better than The Midnight Library. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and take my makeup off now, get cosy and start reading Heartstopper. Well, I know now I need you with me by my side. another parcel and I do have quite a few pre-orders I have two more which are or three more should I say which are coming in June so you'll probably see those in future vlogs this came a little bit later I know what it is and it came a bit later because I hadn't updated my payment details on Waterstone so I did that and it arrived and this is Hollyborn's latest YA novel 
and I love Holly Bourne. I think her books are amazing. I've still yet to read one of her adult books. I do have one on my physical TBR at the moment. I have her debut uh, adult book, but this is her latest book for her YA. And I got the Waterstones exclusive edition. I don't think these ones are signed, but they have beautiful sprayed edges that you guys will see what I mean when I open it. But it is stunning, so I might as well open it on camera. So let's open it and see what it looks like. Oh my god, it's a signed copy. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought I was just getting the special edition, but those sprayed edges. Okay, are you ready? Right, one second. It's just like... Oh. Stunning. Or oh, it says it's a signed copy. Where is the signed bit? There it is. There we go. Okay, we got it. Oh, beautiful. Stunning. We love. Look at the colours. Okay, so here we go. This is Holly's latest book, which is the yearbook. I really do not know much about it, but because it's her, I think it's her 10th book, I wanted to buy it. I wanted to support her. And I love Holly's writing. I love the subjects that she tackles and just her characters. I love everything about her novels basically. So this is the cover and I love, I don't like, I'm not a pink person but I love it with the green. And are you ready for the sprayed edges? Like look at those sprayed edges. Aren't they stunning? We love that. Like I love a good sprayed edge anyway but these are like super duper fancy. And then it is signed by the author. I wasn't expecting that, but it is. So it's signed by Holly as well, which is amazing. And I really do not know what this is about. I only know little dribs and drabs, but I will read you the back in case you are interested in reading it. So it says, Paige is used to keeping quiet in the face of lies at school and at home, but she's finally had enough. When she starts to find love through the pages of a book, she finds her voice too. Now she is going to rewrite her story and the yearbook is the perfect place to do it. So that's all it says on the back. I feel like it is something to do with like she gets to be in charge of the yearbook and I guess in this drama. I don't really know what else but I know Holly said that this was the book that she wished she'd had when she was in school so hopefully I will be in the same situation where I hope this will be a book that I had read um, when I was at school so yes. Very excited to read this. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but soon, hopefully, which will be super exciting. And I'm just really excited to read another Holly Bourne book. It's been a little while since I've read her books. Maybe since Mental Health of Thought last year, actually, probably was the last time that I read one of her books. So very excited to have another book of hers for me to read. So that's my like little book unboxing, and I will give you guys a reading update and like you saw and like I said in my last clip I did start reading Heartstopper Volume 4 and I'm not going to give you a page number because it is literally like page like 1050 but that's because it's part of like a bigger novel so I'm about that way through so I'm not quite halfway I'm a bit through like one third of the way through and I am enjoying it but I put it down because this is a book like I do with all of Alice's graphic novels of Heartstopper I want to just sit down and dedicate time to reading it and I've not had a chance to do that because I've been working so I'm probably going to dedicate some time tomorrow to just sit and read the whole thing because I feel like I just need to do that to kind of just make the most of this because I just love these characters so much but I am definitely enjoying it so far and you definitely get to see a few more complicated family dynamics in this mainly between Charlie and his mum so far so we'll see how that goes and there are also some bits about regarding Charlie's mental health in here as well and like yeah I'm very much looking forward to carrying on with this but like I said I'm definitely going to dedicate a chunk of time tomorrow so I can read this in full and fully enjoy it and then I have actually read a, quite a bit more of the Midnight Library by Matt Haig I am on page 253 so I have roughly about 30 pages left and I'm going to sit my ass down and finish this today because I want to finish a book. I haven't finished a book in about a month so it's about time that I finished a book. So I'm going to finish this book hopefully this evening. That would be amazing. I'm going to sit down after I film this clip and, and do some reading. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to get a book done. I haven't finished a book in so long um, but yeah. I'm going to finish it and I am enjoying it a bit more. I just feel like it's not wowed me this book. Like I love the message and everything but it's just it's not a wow. I feel like it's going to be 
under four stars, it's maybe going to be like a 3.5, 3.75. I like it, but I don't love it as much as other people have been loving it, because I've seen obviously nothing but rave reviews about this, but yeah. That is my thoughts for this for the moment, and that's my reading update, my little book haul. So I'm going to sit down now after work, I'm going to drink my tea, and I'm going to attempt this evening to finish the Midnight Library. Sorry, you can hear the streamer. My dad is outside, but I have to pop in and say that we stand Nick's mum. Nick's mum is great. We stand her. She is great. And yeah, we love her so, so much. I swear every time I film a vlog, I always seem to be wearing the same jumper. But I swear, I obviously I wash my clothes, but like I just seem to have obsessions with the same shirts on different week. I don't know why, I just do, and I'm vibing with this one at the moment. So, you know, there we go. It is a little bit later on on Sunday now. I haven't kind of filmed that many clips that I wanted to this weekend, or at least today. I didn't really have any chats with you guys, but hopefully we'll have some fun chats in the next vlog. But I have many a reading update for you guys. I have finished two books this weekend which I am so proud of myself for because it has been a month since I last finished a book so I have finally finished two which round of applause for me because that is an achievement so I will go in chronological order of the books that I have read so last night I finished The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and I did end up really enjoying this book I particularly kind of like the book towards the end like the second half of the book or like the last third of the book I really enjoyed, like the last 50 pages and kind of how it ends. This book has a very beautiful message and it's a very unique story and I did really enjoy that and I love the message and all that sort of thing and I do like our main character Nora, I like a lot of the characters in here to be honest with you. Um, but it's just, I don't feel like I quite love it as much as everybody else does. I think for most of the book I just wasn't fully invested and engaged with the story. I don't know why, which is very frustrating, um, but I did very much enjoy it. I think I'm going to give this around a 3.5 or a 3.75 stars, and I will say trigger warning for suicide on here, and there are a couple of other things that you might want to research before picking up this book just in case. Uh, but I did enjoy it and I feel like it has a very beautiful message and I do definitely recommend picking it up if you have not already. And I just realised I never pointed this out but I've had my hair cut in case you haven't tell, couldn't tell. It's, I've had quite a lot off. It was cut in the last clip, like not the clip from today but like the clip from yesterday. Um, but you couldn't see because my hair was tied up. But yeah, I've had my hair cut. Hope you like it. I like it too. I like it very much. Um, it's weird, I've not had short hair in so long, so yeah. But I feel I did, like it needed it. Anyway, back to reading updates. And of course, what the book that I have been reading today and finished is Heart Supper, Volume 4 by Alice Oseman. And this book though, like, adorable. Five out of five stars, just like every single other edition in this series, like, I just adored it so, so much. Like, Nick and Charlie are always so precious, but it was just so lovely to kind of see their relationship take it to, like, the next level and kind of on a much deeper level. As this book mainly talks about and kind of deals with Charlie's mental health, and it was really interesting kind of seeing how their relationship dealt with that and also how much Nick wanted to kind of fix it for Charlie, but he knew he couldn't and I love that kind of message It's because I feel like in a lot of films and some books is when somebody has a mental illness and they get with and then their partner or they get with a partner and then they're 
magically cured, but obviously this book very much shows that being in a relationship does not cure your mental illness. You can be there for the person, you can support them, but you cannot fix it. So I really love the message of that and I just like to say that I said it in the last little clip before but I stan Nick's mum. Nick's mum is great, we love how supportive she is, she is amazing um, and yeah it was just so amazing and I also realised when I was reading this that this winter, which is a novella that Alice has written, takes place during this edition of Heartstopper. So this Heartstopper takes place from around September, like August maybe roughly until March time and it takes place in on Christmas Day when this book takes place. Um, so I found that really interesting because I, I couldn't quite remember like where this winter was in terms of if like the editions of Heartstopper but now I know which is very exciting. Um, yeah, I really really love this. Obviously one of my favourite books of the year, like with every single other edition of Heartstopper and I will say trigger warning for eating disorders and self-harm so obviously be aware of those topics before going into this book but I did tab a couple of scenes, not many, I did that with my last Heartstopper edition as well and yeah absolutely adored it, obviously 5 out of 5 stars, amazing, 100% recommend this series if you have not picked it up already, I know it's super hyped but it is 100% worth it. So those are the books that I've actually finished in this vlog and I've read a little bit more of my non-fiction which is Brave New Girl by Chloe Brotheridge, I've literally read like a chapter or two, I am on page 109 and I'm still very much enjoying this, I really need to read more of it if you see what I mean like I need to get on with this book because I am enjoying it so so much I find it so helpful and so useful um but yeah I just obviously need to get a shuffle on with it and then I did read a little bit more of Mansfield Park I can't remember where I told you guys that I wasn't quite sure where I was up to but I'm on chapter 36 which is page 272 still enjoying it don't really have any more thoughts but you know it's quite a fun read and that's kind of all I have to say about it to be honest. So obviously it's the evening now so I'm going to wrap this vlog up here so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed another vlog I don't feel like there were quite as many like self-care things or mental health chats and all that sort of thing in this vlog but hopefully we will have more in the next one and if you want to find out the next book that I have on my TBR then you can obviously stay tuned for the next video and I'm very much looking forward and very intrigued about my next read. I'm not going to start it today unless if I feel like it obviously. I will probably start it at some point tomorrow which is when I will start my next vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying these vlogs so far and if you would like anything for me to kind of feature in these vlogs, obviously I've got two vlogs left, um, anything you want me to talk about or any like self-care things or features or anything you kind of want me to include in the next two vlogs leave what you want in the comments down below and I will make sure to do that for you guys um, because I love chatting with you guys in the comments as always and obviously I love making these vlogs but I also want to make sure that I include stuff that you guys enjoy as well. If you like this video I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up as it really does help me out and if you'd like to see more bookish videos from me then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you will be noted every time that I post a new video. As always I will leave the links to my social media along with the links to my goodreads in the description down below for you guys if you would like to see more bookish content from me that you will not find on this channel. But thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate you so so much and I will see you again very soon. Bye!